Not for Jane. <laughs> I'd just like to follow up something that the pastor said uh, in regard to um, diversity, and I, I think part of the key is to obviously get more people to the polls, get more people voting. Uh, one of the things I just saw this week was that the majority, for example, of millennials are democratic, um, you know, uh, have democratic ideals, that sort of thing, but only 30% of them vote. Um, so what, uh, to all three of you, what do you believe is the key to getting more uh, diverse people to the polls, uh, getting, you know, getting the millennials involved? Uh, certainly some of that is what you said, Pastor, and what I think all three of you are, are trying to do, which is, uh, um, you know, communicate our values, communicate, uh, um, you know, what, what's important to us in the country. Um, but uh, what, what do you believe is the key to, to uh, getting more involvement? I think he's directing that to you oh. first. So. So, so, I mean, one of, one of the things is that um, I, I believe that leadership comes from the bottom up and not the top end. And um, there, there is a narrative, I think, in Washington on both sides of the aisle on, on who is the best candidate. And, and I think that, unfortunately, both parties weigh heavily in and put their hands heavily into districts when, in fact, districts should be choosing their representatives. And, and the Democratic Party has done a lot of targeted persuasion on trying to convince Republicans to vote like Democrats. It's not gonna happen. I mean, Republicans aren't gonna vote like, like Democrats. But what happens is Democrats try to run like Republicans. So, so um, that's the first kind of fallacy we have to address philosophically. And then when we, we've gotta do targeted persuasion to folks that are our base. And we know, statistically speaking, that, that black women over the age of 50 show up and vote Democrat across the board. That's, we don't, we don't spend money though in those districts trying to do target persuasion on our base. What we try to do is figure out how are we going to get the Trump voters back into the Democratic. It just doesn't, it's, it's insane. It's insanity. So, so I think that the messaging has to be different. And I also think, I know this is going to sound like digressing, but we really have to address campaign finance reform. Because ultimately, the persons who give to a, a congressional candidate or a senatorial candidate are the persons who begin to control the messaging, right? So, so that, that's problematic. So I, I think the only way that we really do this is by having strong, authentic, grassroots campaigns that come from places that have been overlooked and, pe and from people who've been made invisible. I actually have um, a bunch of millennials in my life. Um, our, our kids, and it's interesting when you spend time and talk with them. What are their concerns? Their biggest <coughs> concern is what what's going to happen to this country. You guys can't get along, and I think we need to talk about their concerns and include them in the process. Engage them, get them involved. I remember when I was a young woman. Any time someone um, who was in elective office made time for me, it just made you feel like you wanted to get involved. We have to start reaching out to our young people. Um, one of the things that I think they see also going on are these different bills that are being passed, and we talk about them because they're going to affect their lives. The kids are so well aware of what's going on, and then working with the millennials who are buying homes, they are so well aware that they have debt and that's holding them back. And it's also holding back the American dream for a lot of people because there's a process of once, of once someone buys a house, everyone else moves up. And we're, we're seeing that that doesn't happen as much. I think we have an amazing opportunity to reach out to these young individuals and get them engaged. Um, we talk a lot about what's going on with this current administration. And I think they're on it. One of the best thing 